Thanks, Bree. I'm checking out the Greater Lansing Sports Hall of Fame Class of 2016 today, who was inducted just last week on July 28th at the Lansing Center. Some athletes in this year's class include Olympic gold medalist in gymnastics and DeWitt graduate Jordan Weber, voice of Michigan football, Detroit Lions color, at color analyst, former Wolverine offensive tackle and East Lansing grad Jim Brandstatter, and former MSU basketball player and member of the WNBA Sacramento Monarchs championship team, Kristen Haney. Here to walk me through this whole process is Hall of Fame Chairman Bob Every. Thank you so much for being here. Maya, thank you for uh, <laughs> focusing on the Greater Lansing Area Sports Hall of Fame. We appreciate that. This is a great area for it, right at the Lansing Center, right when people can walk through it. Well, you know, I, I believe that the Lansing Center is the hub of downtown Lansing. Mm -hmm. Everything goes through here. And when we had a chance to move the operation from uh, Lansing Community College, who we thank for mm -hmm. allowing us to be there for so many years. Definitely. Uh, into a... Uh, uh, a wonderful center like this, we were just ecstatic and uh, uh, the, the center has been very supportive and, and we couldn't be happier to have landed here in the greater, I mean in the Lansing Center. Right downtown, right yeah, when people right, can right walk right through it. So talk about some of these athletes in general, not just this class. They have to have something special to leave this mark in their community. What's that about? Well, we started the uh, Greater Lansing Area Sports Hall of Fame back in 1976, and the, the founding father was the former athletic director at Lansing Community College, okay. Walter Lingo, Dr. Walter Lingo. Uh, Bert Smith, who was the uh, athletic director of Michigan State University, mm -hmm. and Clayton Kowak, who was a, uh, an employee of the Lansing Public School District. Okay. So they got together and decided that uh, to honor the bicentennial year would be a great idea to uh, to form this uh, Lansing area sports hall of fame and and try to keep alive uh, the sports heritage of this community mm -hmm. and we have produced many great athletes so many of course headed by Magic Johnson mm -hmm. and John Smalls and Jordan <laughs> Weaver and Judy Brown Clark I mean some people you, known worldwide oh of course and you know and when you take a look at all the pro basketball players the baseball players, the Olympians, uh, right away you say, you know, this is a special area. Yep, and Olympics, yeah, Jordan Weber this year, it's incredible how much she's done for the country, but then you see this area, how much she's been an influence to little girls who strive to be like her too. Exactly, and I mean, that's a point that you brought up that, that, that's well thought out. Uh, I was very surprised at what some of the people, we, uh, we try to be more involved the Greater Lansing Area Sports Hall of Fame than just being a sports hall of fame. So we're mm -hmm. involved in other community activities. Okay. And one of those activities is be a tourist in your own town. You may have heard of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we're here on that day and uh, literally hundreds of people come through here and we uh, introduce them to the Hall of Fame and we talk to them and we ask them questions. They ask us questions, but a lot of kids come through. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, when you see the kids looking at some of these cases that have some of these old jerseys that were worn by people in the jaws Olympics. Jaws drop. Yeah, their jaws drop <laughs> and they start asking questions. And you know, uh, you, you, you have no idea, but you sense that there is a motivation there by a, a child seeing something like mm -hmm. that, that maybe gives them an idea that they can do it too. Definitely. And, and I think it's important for every community to offer something mm -hmm. like that to the little ones. So they have, uh, you know, they have an opportunity to grow up with hope. Mm -hmm. and a dream and uh, I mean and know they can get there too exactly mm -hmm. and, and when you see a Jordan Weaver leotard just down <laughs> in this case that she wore in the in the world championships that child can almost touch it mm -hmm. and that almost be, see themselves yeah. wearing it and, yeah exactly mm -hmm. and to be that close to something like that uh, has you, you don't know how it's going to motivate somebody but I'm sure that a lot of these kids that go out of here and see this stuff say, you know, I'm going to work just a little bit harder, I'm going to be a little bit more focused, mm -hmm. and I'm going to see if I can become an Olympic gymnast mm -hmm. or a Major League Baseball player or an NBA basketball player or a WNBA basketball mm -hmm. player. I mean, they're born with talent, but it's always that extra training that gets them there, right? Yeah, it, it is. I mean, it's like your business, it's like any other business. Uh, you know, you can be a cut above everybody else or you can go along with the flow. Uh, I've never been a flow guy. I've always wanted mm -hmm. to be at the top of the heap and uh, uh, I've strived very hard in my athletic career to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, to take it one step higher, uh, you know, that's a different ball game. So talk about this class specifically. What's so great about it? What's so important about it that these people needed to be in this glass case? 
Well, we have about uh, 300 and some individuals in the Hall of Fame, and we have uh, you know 60, 70 teams. I mean, uh, somewhere wow. around that. And what was their time uh, to come in? Who knows? We have a selection committee mm -hmm. of uh, 15 people, and it's a very spirited committee. And they're they're all ex-athletes. They've all lived in the community many years, so they know the heritage, the sports heritage of this town. They've watched a lot of these people that uh, are in the Hall of Fame. Uh, uh, perform uh, uh, at, uh, at all levels, college, uh, high school, professional. And uh, what happens is, is that, uh, you know, people, I ask uh, my committee members, I say, listen, you know, we're getting ready to bring in a new class. I want you to submit to the list of eligibility 10 names. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll get, we could get as many as 150 names, but a lot of people pick the same people because okay. it's a, a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like a Jordan Weaver, I mean, you know. <laughs> so uh, there, there is a system, it's a three-tiered okay. system, and uh, the reason they got in is because they were selected in the initial process, and then they withstood the hammering <laughs> of the process through its course, <laughs> and they came out uh, with their hands held high. Definitely, and these are athletes that definitely deserve it. Oh my goodness. Great athletes. And, and, and all the ones who didn't get in are just as deserving, but uh, again, you know, there's the process. And we want to make sure that everybody that comes in here has a story to tell, which they normally Definitely. do. And then we put that story in a, in a receivable way so when they're here for their hour that they're here to visit, you know, they can get as much information as they need to process to help them become what they have become. Definitely. And talking about the story they have to tell, some of these people, most of them, are still having an impact on the community. Can you talk about that? Can you talk about some specific stories that you might well, I have? I can tell you a couple <laughs> of stories. Uh, now, when you take a look, I think if anybody was to ask who's Lansing's favorite son, who's Lansing's greatest, most well-known athlete, I would probably have to say Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. You know, then you've got maybe John Smaltz, then you got, you know, Jordan Weaver, Jordan and then there's, Weaver. A host, there's a host after that. Now, how do they contribute? Well, Jordan, contribute this year by giving us some of the valuable equipment and uniforms that she wore mm -hmm. while coming through the Olympics and the World Championships that are on display here. Magic Johnson, when we inducted Magic's high school team uh, back in 2012, uh, everybody came back and Magic came back. We had, to, we, we had to set the date back a week because Magic couldn't be he here in the original. Here. Yeah, he needed to be here. He was, he was the draw. And uh, so when he came, uh, and all the, all the team was here and, and they had a wonderful time. He stood on stage and he says, you know, I, I see the value mm -hmm. of what's going on here. And the cookie and I, cookie's his wife, <laughs> uh, we, want to, uh, we want to donate $100,000 wow. to the Lansing Sports Hall of Fame to keep this dream alive and well and moving. Uh, and he did. For so many uh, people, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you get individuals that come every year. And the fun part about the... There's a lot of fun part. <laughs> the, the one I really enjoy is where the, the athletes, the past athletes that have been inducted either through individuals or teams or Dick Letts Community Service Award, mm -hmm. we ask them to come up and be recognized. And, and they form this tremendous line that goes all the way the length of the room. Oh and we gosh. put the mic in their hand and they introduce themselves and tell them what sport and when they came in. That's my fun part. Mm -hmm. And this year we had the most athletes come back that we've ever wow. had. I mean, they literally stacked up from, from <laughs> end to end. And, uh, you know, so they help out, number one, by uh, coming back every year and supporting mm -hmm. the Hall of Fame. Some of them help out in ways like Magic Johnson where they mm -hmm. donate money. And, uh, you know, those are, those are the ways that keep things uh, going in the Hall of Fame is that if you, if you can't donate money, to help keep the cause going, then be here. Just buy a ticket. Yeah. And that's support enough. Definitely. And they all con contribute to the value of, of, of the Hall of Fame. So and that's the, how they help us out. Yeah, and the value passes on to the kids who come in. And you have a great story about Jordan Weber yeah. and her. Yeah. Can you tell us that story? Well, uh, I asked Jordan if she <laughs> had something she might be able to contribute to the, uh, the Hall of Fame that she may have wore, you know, when she was an athlete. And she said, I have the leotards that I wore when I won the world championship and that are on uh, that I wore when I was on the picture of the Frosted Flakes box top. So uh, 
she said, I'll send them to my mother, and my mother will call you. Uh, and Rita Weaver, God bless you, she's a great woman. <laughs> she, uh, she works at Sparrow Hospital. And she called me up and said, listen, I, Jordan sent me her leotards, and I have them. I'll take them to work if you want to drop by tomorrow and pick them up. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I did. I went up. Uh, she was a tech uh, specialist at, uh, at the emergency department at Sparrow. She came out on her, you know, on her, her scrubs and uh, <laughs> says, here you go. And so I took them home, and my granddaughters happened to stop by later on that night, and I, I said, look at I got girls. <laughs> and my oldest daughter, granddaughter, who's eight, and then my other one, who's five, uh, my eight-year-old wanted to try them on. Dad, I could, Grandpa, I can fit those. And so she went in and tried them on, came out and said, yeah, you look really good. Well, my five-year-old threw a hissy fit. Well, I want to do it too, you know. So she tried them on as well, and uh, I got pictures of both of them in oh Jordan's gosh. leotards, and then I... Uh, I asked Jordan, I sent her a Facebook message and asked her, would you mind if we put these up on Facebook? She said, no, go ahead, go ahead. And so I put them up there and God, we got like 200 and some responses. Oh and then when Jordan was here, uh, my daughter, uh, who's also in the Hall of Fame, uh, a great athlete in her own right, she brought the girls over so they could have their picture taken with Jordan when, mm -hmm. before the whole ceremony started. So that's, that's really kind of a neat story and we'll, uh, you know, we'll it's inspiration that. to them, yeah, it really just is. to everybody. Yeah, and both of those girls have worked out at the Tristars where Jordan mm -hmm. trained, and and they, and they they continue to do that. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, who knows how that will inspire somebody? Definitely. But I'll tell you something right now, Maya. <laughs> if in fact, knock on wood, they ever turned out to be anywhere near a Jordan Weaver, and they got any kind of uh, uh, publicity from what they do because they're so good at it. Just think what a story it will be then when they say or see a picture of this little tyke now a full-sized uh, young Gymnast. lady performing at a great level wearing the great Jordan Weaver's mm -hmm. uh, leotards. Uh, They'll see just how much this yeah, matters to yeah, the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, those stories are great. And then you, you get in the Sports Hall of Fame itself that the award ceremony is always great. It's always well received. and. You never know when you get somebody up on stage what their story is going to be. You know, they might, I mean, it might be happy, it might be, one thing is for sure, it's always emotional. Mm -hmm. And I've seen uh, some people on stage uh, when they were giving thanks really uh, get to a point where they become so emotional that they tear up and some of them start to cry. And, uh, you know, I don't know whether it's them rethinking all the sacrifices their mm -hmm. family made for them. Uh, to get to where they are, uh, to be inducted into Definitely. something like this, uh, but it does become very emotional, and that that's the passion that I love to see coming out of the acceptance speeches mm -hmm. that we see, uh, is people who who recognize that there are other people that mm -hmm. were just as important uh, to them to be successful as their own efforts. A lot Definitely. Of well, thank you so much for all your expertise and for showing me this great place. Well, you're welcome. And again, I appreciate you. Uh, coming down and taking the time and, uh, and if we can be of help uh, any other time on any other thing let us know and we'll be we'll be there for you thank you thanks for being here thanks Maya appreciate it back to you guys